Hi guys, getting ready to do your reading. All right, so let's see what's going on for the first part of June. All right, so ooh, we have a King of Wands right at the heart of the matter. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be a queen, don't forget. Of course, Knight of Coin could be a slower energy and Earth sign. We have a Queen of Coin, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Six of Coin, helping someone, receiving help, or a balanced relationship. Eight of Coin, working, and strength card. You have a lot of money already. Nine of Cups, having your wishes fulfilled. Chariot, you're moving on. The stars in your hopes or your fears. The seven of swords is your outcome. I love it though. Um, you have the page of swords and the two of wands. Right. So interesting. I like it though. Underneath the deck is the ace of wands. So I'm going to pull this one out because that may be beneficial to know. So at the heart of the matter, you have a king or a queen of wands. Could be an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius. It could just be more their energy. They could be um, outgoing, friendly, fiery, warm. Um, again, think of more the personality. Remember, the cards just have to give us a person to know that what we're dealing with. It's not necessarily the sign. Okay, the King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands and what is he about? Three of Coin. Maybe working together. Could be a threesome. Could be three people involved. It doesn't have to be. Knight of Coin. Knight of Coin is a... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but usually my knights or my energies are not usually people. Empress. That's interesting. The queen of coin is crowning your thoughts. Strength. So the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anytime I get, though, the queen of coins, you could represent someone who you're dealing with, with finances or money. Um, could be you working on your money. Could be um, only one to do with work. You have to go to the bank. You know, someone you meet with money, something along that line. So six of coin, again, two of rods, deciding. Eight of coin, knight of swords, the strength card with the tower, okay. Nine of cups with the devil, okay. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like some of you guys are might be a little bit sneaky this month. Um, you may be getting away with something because you have nine of cups, which is fulfilled with the devil. And to me, the devil is, you know, kind of like the seven of swords, um, um, a naughtiness card. I mean, the traditional meanings, of course, with the devil are, are different. But when it's kind of like this, it's kind of like you may be going out and just drinking and having some fun or you may... You may do something that's a little bit on the revenge side in this reading. So no judgment. We're just going to leave them there and we're going to move on. Chariot. Chariot. Temperance. Patience. The star card is in your hopes and dreams. Victory. And again, we have the seven of swords as your outcome with the page of swords and the two of wands. Five of cups. Okay, so someone may have cheated broken heart oh for goodness sakes really um three of cups so it's like you get revenge see what i'm saying it's like five of cups with a broken heart but then you're you're having fun with the three of cups definitely could have been three people definitely could have been with the devil some sleeping around maybe you end up sleeping with the person that they cheated with or i mean i don't know how to explain that but like there's something like like what I got was like you're sleeping with your ex's best friend or something for some of you. I mean to get revenge. And that's just for a few of you and that's kind of um, out there. But I can see like some of you decided to do that because you were really pissed off with what you found out. Now, and it could be that, and the reason I'm saying this too is because with the three of coin and the empress here, it's almost like there's three people involved and someone was hitting on you with that energy too is what I'm seeing okay but ace of coin with the ace of wands okay, that's over here on the side some new beginnings going on definitely some new starts
It's interesting is I can also see another message in here about receiving money, like receiving something like help, like doing this behind somebody's back, but, but this person didn't treat you right. Like someone took advantage of you. Someone did you wrong. Um, but someone else is going to come in and help you or do something. Which is interesting because I think I got this for another sign, kind of another same scenario. It had to do with money and helping someone out. But yours is a little bit more revenge noted than the other sign was. But it was like, it's like you find something out. It's like, you see how like he finds something out. Page of Swords is a message you don't like. It's kind of usually, I always usually read it as bad. So you decide, okay, well, what am I going to do? Am I going to take the path of being, you know, of holding my head high and being the bigger person or am I going to get revenge? Well, you might be the, you might have the idea of getting revenge and doing something sneaky. Down here with the Nine of Cups and the Devil, do you see how I could see that in this reading? You're doing something a little bit tacky, a little bit deceitful, but gosh, it feels so good to get revenge. Now again, for some of you, I know you're going to leave comments and say, oh, I would never do that. I'm a bigger person. Well, that's good. Um, but some of you really got your heart broken. And you decided to get together with the friends and go ahead and do this, do this. I don't know what this is, but you have cards here showing broken heart, but being, you know, still happy. You have the tower here and it took strength. Some of you won't do this. Some of you are thinking about this, but you won't do this. This is just in your imagination, in your dreams. That's why you have tower with the strength. You really would like to, but you won't. Others of you, you could be having, like, like I said, I see the friend of the ex coming in. And they really like you. They hit on you. And some of you may take that opportunity. Others of you, of course, won't. But it's there. Now, again, and the reason I say this is because technically I see three people with the three of coin. I see the king of wands, the queen of pentacles, and I see empress. And I feel like empress is you watching. It doesn't matter, male or female, empress is someone admired. And someone's coming in. That energy's coming in. I'm not really counting the knight of coin. I know I could count that as a third person, but normally I don't read knights as people, though they could be younger in their 20s for a personal reading um, or they're acting immature. So, well, it could be someone acting immature. It's kind of an immature, younger energy than king. So maybe they do come in and they do want to give you something. Now, let me read the cards a little bit different. Let me pause here and like, kind of shift gears. Because let's say you are working with someone and they want to come in because they really admire you with the Empress energy. It could be at work because you have three of coin here and eight of coin. It could be someone coming in and giving you, see how he's handing her the coin? Now she has the coin. She's looking at it. You're hoping that someone admires you. Someone thinks you're beautiful. Someone wants to help you out. Someone wants to give you a gift. Um, you may get this gift. And you may decide to really make some changes. You may be initiating this tower since it's, it's a card that, the main card's strength, the card that complements it or clarifies its tower. So you may take this money and maybe start a business or invest in yourself or um, go after something like that because you may be moving away from this relationship and you may not be telling someone about this. It could be also that something in the past happened because I don't feel like the five of cups and the three of swords is coming in now. I think this is old energy. It's clarifying why we have this, this seven of swords. You may get some money in from someone and you may let go and get, um, you know, get like a beauty makeover or guys, you may go to the gym and start working out, you know, start lifting weights and looking good. Um, there's also this kind of like this feeling of revenge, like I'm saying, it's like, but someone gives you some money and then, so you invest it and so you can make more money or you can start, you know, looking better, working out, or you're very happy and you no, know, maybe it's not the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not the right to get revenge or, um, but who, you know, you feel good in the end. You feel like, you know, you're getting, getting back at someone for hurting you and, um, it's okay. I feel like the temperance of the chariot is kind of opposing energy, right? Racing forward, leaping forward. Think of all the bad things and the good things you can do, whatever. Or just like, like almost like wanting to run them over with the car, but you're not. You're going to use temperance and balance and patience, okay? You're going to like, you're going to hang in there and you're not going to, you know, do that. Um, but because you can see the six of coin money, you're deciding, what do I do next? What do I do with this opportunity? And again, you have kind of opposing energies here. You have that strength card again, 
which is here, the Knight of Swords energy, which is obviously a very quick, fast energy, sometimes doesn't think things through, kind of what you want to do, right? You want to go after someone, but yet you sit down and say, no, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to learn this skill. I'm going to do something. You know, that's two very different energies here. He's sitting, looking down. The other one's like getting crazy. So understandable. So I can definitely see how some of you are definitely getting revenge, going out with friends, uh, posting it on Facebook, dating uh, someone new, dating the ex, or the ex's friend, like I said. Um, and you have new starts here, but, but, but came out. New ideas, new money, new starts, new beginnings, you know, feeling better about yourself, having more fun, new energy coming in. So that's good. So yeah, let go of this toxic energy. And again, this could be the ex, the toxic ex with the devil card there. You're getting rid of them. You're feeling good. The nine of cups, you're happy. So I think that's good energy. It's fine. This happens in everyday life, right? It shows up in the tarot. Um, it's great. So I hope you guys have a great month of June. I'll be back probably for mid-months and take care.